guys. Hope all of you are doing well. This is Mrs. Davis again. I wanted to film a few learning videos for you. Um, hopefully that will be fun and it'll be a good way for you to learn some new information. So what we're going to do with this video is we're going to talk about 2D and 3D shapes. And we've talked about 2D shapes and some 3D shapes throughout the year, but we're going to review a little bit and then I'm going to tell you some really cool information about these shapes. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a picture here with four different 2D shapes. And 2D stands for two dimensional. Now, two dimensional means it's flat. We've talked about this before. These shapes are all flat. Um, and they have some really cool features about each one of them. Let's just review. We know this is a circle, a triangle, a square, and a rectangle, right guys? Well, they're called two dimensional again because they're flat. Now, the circle is flat, it has a curved line, it's round, and it has no corners or vertices. So that's a circle. Let's go ahead and check out the triangle now. The triangle is flat and it has what's called sides. It has three sides, one, two, three. Those are its sides. It also has three corners, one, two, three. That's where the sides meet. And we also call them vertices. So that's an important word for you to know for next year in first grade. The corners are called vertices. So triangle has three sides and three vertices. Now here's a square. A square has four sides and four vertices. Now what's cool about this square is these sides are all equal. They're of the same length. That's what makes it special. So the square has four equal sides and four vertices. And then a rectangle has four sides, one, two, three, four. It has four vertices, one, two, three, four. But what's different between a rectangle and a square is a rectangle does not have all four sides equal. It has two sides that are equal, which are longer, and two shorter sides. And so they are not all equal. So that's what we talk about when it comes to two-dimensional shapes. Now, I'm going to give you some clues, and I want to see if you can guess which shape I'm talking about. So let me show you the picture again. All right? So we're going to play a little game. I'm thinking of a shape that is two-dimensional. It's curved and round. And it has no vertices. Which shape am I thinking? Did you say circle? You're right. You guessed right, a circle. Okay, new one. I'm thinking of a shape that has four sides, four vertices, and all four sides are equal. Can you guess which shape I'm talking about? You're right, a square, four sides that are equal and four vertices. All right, I'm thinking of a shape that has three sides and three vertices and is two dimensional or flat. I hope you said triangle. Okay, one more. I am thinking of a shape that has four sides, four vertices, but the sides are not all equal. Did you see rectangle? Good job. All right. So now we're going to check out these shapes. And we've talked about these as well. These are three dimensional shapes. They are not flat. They are not flat at all. They are solid. 
Okay, so they're different than the two dimensional shape. They're solid, they're thick. I say they're fat. Okay, so let's review these. We have a sphere. This is a pyramid. This is a rectangular prism. This is a cylinder. This is a cube. And my favorite, a cone. Okay, so let's look about let's look at each one of these in particular. So a sphere is like a, a ball. You can roll it. it. Reminds me of a soccer ball or a baseball. Yes, Jace, it could be Earth and a moon. So there's shapes that are like this that are called a sphere. They're round and they're full. They're not flat like a circle. And that's what calls that's why it's a three-dimensional shape. We go down here, this is a cylinder. It has two circles, one on the top and one in the bottom, and then it has a big curve wrapped around. That's called a cylinder. If you look at a can of soda or a can of chicken noodle soup, that's shaped like a cylinder. And then we can go on to a pyramid. It has a square bottom and it has four triangles on each side with a point at the top okay that's called a pyramid and down below we have a cube a cube has six squares and we call all of these squares their faces and there's six of them there's one, two, one on the top, one in the bottom, and then four squares going around. So there's six faces, and it has eight vertices. That's a cube. I think of a cube looking like a dice or a box of tissue or a present. That's a cube. This is a rectangular prism. It is three-dimensional. It's 3D. It has two squares, one in the top, one in the bottom, and it has four rectangles around each side. And did you know that you can stack it? You could stack one on top of the other. And then the last one at the bottom is the cone. And I like this because it reminds me of an ice cream cone. It has a circle in the bottom, it has a curved side, and it has a point at the top. Okay, kind of cool. So now I'm going to get some tools and we're going to try to draw these shapes. You want to do that with me? So you can pause this video, go get um, a piece of paper and a pencil, and we're going to draw it together. All right, I, I'll be back. I have to go get my pencil. Okay, let's draw some. Let's draw, hopefully you can see. Let's draw, let's draw a sphere. So it looks like a circle. Oh, there's a bump behind there. Looks like a circle. Okay, and then I just draw some little lines going down the middle to show that it's three dimensional has curves not that beautiful but you get the idea that's a sphere try to do that all right should we draw a cone okay so cone starts out looking like a triangle doesn't it but then I draw a squishy oval down below. Easy, a cone. And if you flip it upside down, it'll look like an ice cream cone. Should we try to draw a cylinder? All right. So we're going to make a wide number 11. And then you're going to draw a squishy oval on top and a squishy oval on the bottom. 
cylinder. How's that? Okay. So let's just start off with these three. I'm sure you did a great job. I'm very proud of you. All right. I think now I want to show you some flashcards. Should we check out some flashcards and see if you can answer some of these equations for me? All right. I hope you haven't forgotten these. All right. Whoop, that one where I did. This one, y plus one. I hope you're answering them. I think I'm going too fast. Ooh, those are number buddies. That's your clue. I'll slow down. Okay, we should get pretty fast at those. Got to get ready for first grade. Teachers want you to be really quick. All right, let's get a few more. How about this one? Do you remember that one? And this one? Ooh, those are, here's a good one. Okay, how about, ah, this is cinchy. I think I should get that real fast. How about this one? It's not a number, buddy. This one. And this one. Hmm. How about that one? Here's one. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Let's do a couple more. And next time, we will work on some takeaways. So, I hope you liked learning about 2D and 3D shapes. I'm going to make a new video now. And um, be prepared because it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you soon. Bye.